Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tisa Tsiliqua, and you are tuned in to a transparent and safe place where we speak all things love, life, and healing. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah, join the family. I think that's what people say, guys, and I really felt tempted to say that, so I'm gonna say it, please. And if you're returning and you are subscribed, welcome guys. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe today. This road to 1K is like taking forever. It's just like, it's really free and um, I'd appreciate it, okay? Anyway, so today's video, as you can see from the title, is a mini update. And I take you through on what happened during our six weeks postpartum um, checkup and all of that but before we get into that i just wanted to like you know vent a little so um this video i was supposed to post last week already but i was like really having conversations with myself that you know what is it really what you want to put out there um not because i'm going to say anything that's like you know um too personal and guys um there's like construction work happening next door and like every room is, is loud and i don't know what to do all the windows are closed but yeah so bear with me please so as i was saying i was having i was having a conversation with myself as to whether i really want to post like updates on baby and how i'm doing um because i felt at that stage that i was like kind of moving away from what i was doing so i was praying about it and i also like had a conversation with my friends and um, prayed about it and man the Holy Spirit was like you are giving people um, the truth about where you are at the moment and I can't force like I can't force myself to now start telling stories about where I'm not and what I'm not convicted of so yeah I I think I think we go through that hey where you doubt yourself you doubt why you're doing something because you don't want to be out of purpose or out of the will of God so yeah I put it off a little so when I woke up this morning and I just said you know what um, God laid it in my heart so I'm gonna do it anyway so here it is I'm so proud of myself actually I'm really so proud of myself because usually what I do I you know abandon ship and move on to the next thing so I'm really trying this thing out of obeying and doing it's hard but yeah we move anyway so let's get into the gist of today. so the last time I was on here um, when I did speak about babies um, or oh, I had a postpartum video of like telling you guys what happens postpartum and all of that and yeah so I think I was nearing six weeks when I did that video and I think two weeks or a week later we had to go to the doctor to get um, baby vaccinated and I was also going to do start my family plan um so weeks leading to um, that date that we were supposed to go to um, baby gets sick he gets sick and I mean really really sick he was congested he was sneezing he was coughing he couldn't breathe properly it was the worst week of my life because i mean there's nothing that i can give to to him i can't i can't give him um medication like i would my toddler right um so so we took it to the took him to the doctor eventually because i thought maybe if he breastfeeds and you know um i monitor him at home without taking him to the doctor he'll be fine but yo he was getting worse and it's the most painful thing to witness like a little boy you know how painful flu is and your joints are painful you can't breathe putting your head on a pillow is just a whole new you know yeah whatever so the baby was um was going through that and i could just imagine how much pain he was feeling he was, he was uncomfortable and he can't actually tell me where you know the pain is so we took him to the doctor um when we got there he got all the checks and the doctor was like yo i thank god um you better thank god that you came now because had you prolonged or waited a day or two your child would have had like full-blown um bronchitis so he had a lot of phlegm on his um, mucus 
of lamb yeah on his um chest you could actually hear him like hear him struggle to breathe so yo it was terrible yeah so they gave us a prescription they gave us medication um yeah i'm not gonna share what the medication is because i don't want mommies going to buy um stuff you know without consulting their doctors but i'm pretty sure you can't get these ones without a prescription but anyway and but one thing that she said i should get was cowpaw and i was so skeptical because I'm, i know that cowpaw is usually for babies um aged three months up and i was just like my baby is not even six weeks <laughs> like Oh, well my baby is six weeks only so how how am i gonna give that to him so i i gave i gave him the cowpaw because he was very feverish like his temperature was rising but i gave him once and i didn't want to give him again and i was then they put him on antibiotics and yeah so i think it took us a week um yeah, we were that week. I I thought I, I took him to discamp because obviously we we moved to a new place and our doctor her, he's um I I literally get mixed up between between he's and he and her because my first one is a her right, but anyway so he's his pediatrician is in Pretoria and we moved from Pretoria so um we went to discamp because we hadn't found a, a pediatrician yet. Uh, so we went to this camp and we got there. They're like, no, we can't do anything. So you have to wait another seven days um, for the antibiotics to wear out of the body. And yeah, so seven days from the day you start. So we all know we take antibiotics for five days. So yeah, he had that for five days and we waited another two days. But I, I decided to wait another like four days before we took him to the doctor um so but anyway um we still had to drive to pretoria because when i got discharged i forgot to pick up this this card so i he couldn't get um vaccinated so this is the card where they you know track the progress the child's progress the way they weigh the length um the weight and you know measure the um, weight for age or length for age and all of that so i couldn't get get him vaccinated anyway where we stay because i didn't have this guys this is like your passport for your child um but i i had forgotten because with my first child they brought the thing to me and then with the second one apparently i had to go and fetch it so i forgot yeah so then we drove to pretoria and guys i kid you not this is the first time I ever you know I've ever been in a consultation room for a baby and like the nurse is so thorough like with my child I just remember you know they just injected her and it was that that was that and I was okay with my child the first vaccination the six weeks vaccination I wasn't a part of I stayed outside because I was scared and then was the second one with 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 Nathan I I went in and like it was so thorough so but my husband still says that even with the first with our first child he didn't get like a thorough consultation like he did with you know with this one um, so when we got there the nurse um, you know took us through why it's important or why the six weeks uh, vaccination is like important that you know it protects the child from whooping coughs influenza um, um, hepatitis B and she said a whole lot of things right and yeah so this video is basically I'm gonna show you what really happened there and I think um, it will just give you a glimpse of what to expect when you take your baby there and yeah, so before I even po I, I put the video in here, um, I didn't get to do my um, family planning visit because when I got there, um, they told me that they didn't have the injection that I wanted. So I like the injection because um, I, haven't, I haven't really, you know, experienced any problems with it. My body doesn't really react badly to it. Um, the only side effect that I knew of was that, you know, there's weight gain, but guys, <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't be bothered about weight. So there's the one that I was using is the, so there's Depo and there is, um, 
So apparently it is normal that um, after pregnancy um, you become a bit a bit forgetful and apparently it could be because of hormone changes and lifestyle changes because a lot changes when a baby um, is born like the way you used to do things you can't like you can't invest more time in certain things because now there's a new baby there's a new baby that you need to take care of especially in the first few weeks so I was getting so scared or oh, guys <laughs> was going on because i felt so dumb but other than that we're good i'm good and i just want to say um thank you so much for you guys you know interaction you know i've i've met so many great people in the past two months um so many great mummies so many hopeful mummies and i i know i say this a lot but i am praying for you and i know that the lord um will do it for you too and you just need to believe for it and yeah other than that guys i love you guys i hope you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and like and share my name is tisa tisa it is bye bye to me it is bye bye from me. I just feel like it doesn't moisturize as much as some yeah. of your aqua yeah, streams can. True. Hi, my sweetie. But I know E45 and things like that is expensive, so you can bath him with like every bags and okay. then you apply the, the okay. other ones okay. okay. Oh, God, my sweetie. I'm sorry for all the movement that the cold hands. Legs is nicely the same length. Hips is good in the socket, no clicking or nothing. Okay. That's perfect. We'll talk now about the skin. Umbilical, it's called a hernia, mm -hmm. so it does go down by toe time before mm -hmm. two years. So we don't have to fix it before that. As long as it's able to press in, that's okay. fine, and it's healthy on the outside. So very good. Then baby, injection at birth is looking healthy and normal. That's good. I'm sorry, give me this now. Mouth is nice and clean, and the palate is closed. Good. His head is soft on top. I know, baby, and at the back, which is good. It gives the brain some space to grow. Okay. It's going to be open until about 12 months, the front one. Okay. Okay, okay. his head was 37 at birth. He was a very big baby. Yeah. Very big. <laughs> 41, wow. wow. <laughs> Goodness. Well, some of your babies at six weeks, the head is 37. So that's what I'm saying. He oh, was a, you know, he and was, he a was that at birth. And he was born at 37 weeks. Oh, wow. Time. So imagine. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. His leg was 52. Mm. He's 60 today. Very sure. good, baby. Huh? A nice oh. job. I'm sorry. I know my hands are so cold. It's So this is called magnolia spots. It disappears on its own. Okay. Nothing to be worried about. It's usually not from birth. You see them a little bit like that. But it completely it takes its own time to go away. The bum is nice and closed. The back is good. Tummy time very important to okay. get some exercise so that you can kick and lift mm. the head. And perfect. You've been lifting the head. Oh good. Time. Just so. So the skin for now, I'm not seeing any big rashes. It's mm -hmm. just, oh, it's just the, the flakiness, the dryness. So for now, just moisturize it very good and avoid your fragrances. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, the the skin needs to not come off as well, so it does flake sometimes. Okay. Um, but just as long as there's no rashes, which I'm not noticing okay. too much at the moment. Do you want to change this nappy, Mama? Yeah. It's so fine. Yeah. I can. It's in the car. It's, it's, it's not too full. I just I'll just change it when we're done. Okay, then. perfect. She's, she's probably going to. Yeah, no, most probably. Do something again. <laughs> so the bum is nice and healthy. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then the taste is nice and down. That's mm -hmm. perfect because our little balls are there. <laughs> good. I say. Now it's the, the little colder part. No, my darling. It's so cold on that machine. 3.66. At birth, let's see now. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know, I know. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at 
Because after the injections, he's not going to allow you to yeah, dress it. I'm going to show you guys now how he's growing. So is he smiling a little bit? Like he, he is, is a yeah, lot. Yeah. Good. Nice. I'm doing the little gooey talks. Yeah, he's so shy. And he gets a fright if he hears a big noise. Yes, he does. Good. Sorry, Buzzy. And I can see that the the eyes is focusing very well. Yes. So it's looking nicely at me and everything. It's very good. Your first baby are they tall? Yeah, she was also from Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> She's the tallest. She's the tallest in the class, but this one is taller than her. Is it a guy? Mm. Very tall and bigger. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I can't be shorter than my sister. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he, he needs to scare off the bullies. <laughs> mm. We must fight all the bo the bad boyfriends. <laughs> gonna allow her to have boyfriends. <laughs> Probably not. We'll talk about that. <laughs> uh oh, brace yourself. Shall you come up click this one is okay. Oh shit. He spits out. Oh, yeah, okay, that's okay. So I am. Um, it's okay. It's okay. usually with the medication as long as it gets in the mouth and he moves it a little bit, they it gets. Because we had trouble giving okay. her, giving him the medication yeah. they gave. So. Yeah, most of the times it is a little difficult. We have to give it through the bottle. Yes, so yeah. can oh, shame. Okay, good. I'm gonna show you guys now how he's growing as well. Just okay. wanna get everything ready. Oh, my my sweetie, I'm so sorry, me. Right, so everything we checked, I wrote okay. there for you. The immunizations, okay. growth, very, very good. So with his head from birth till today, perfect on the same line, very nice and healthy. The length from birth till today, perfectly on the same line, very good. And the weight also nice with the average, perfect. So he's definitely getting enough milk with regards to breastfeeding and everything. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. And he's, he's doing his development perfect. Oh. Yes. Sorry, my darling. Yeah. I know it doesn't taste nice. Ugh, I know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> See, this one is sweeter, but you guys are not so fond of the sweet stuff mm. with the breastfeeding. Nay, Oh, is it like it? Huh? It's not so, oh, this medication I can drink every day. Mm. Oh, like uh, this is very sweet. <laughs> Shami, you can hear the nose is yeah, a little blocky. Yeah. yeah, congestion. Are you seeing the giraffe? You <laughs> seeing the colors? <laughs> That's so sweetie. Ooh. It's finished. Well done, puppy. Now is, I'm just bribing you a little bit before we make mm. you oh. cry. <laughs> Guys, so I'm gonna quickly give him on the one leg, then the second leg, then you can pick him up. Okay, you're welcome oh, to breastfeed. Get feed. Okay, you can feed him afterwards if mm. you would want it. Sometimes they are too mad at us to want it. Okay. No, this one likes food. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, gee, baby. Sorry, my sweetie. The first one is done, I know. Second one. Oh, yeah, I know. You can pick him up, Mama. Just 
this one. I put this a bit later last time. You can pick it up. Oh, 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 o